So lead code seat reservation manager. In this problem, you need to manage n seats from one to n. And you need to implement this class that you can call reserve and unreserve. So in this function, you're gonna have to return the smallest numbered unreserved seat. So the seat that is available with the lowest ID. And in unreserve, you're saying, okay, this seat number has become suddenly available again for some reason. Okay, so instead of solving this with JavaScript, as I usually do, I use C++ because it's a better tool to do the job here. So what you do is you initialize an empty set of all of the available seats, and in the constructor, you fill it up with all of the numbers from one to n, obviously, because at the beginning, all of the seats are available, right? And then what you do is when reserve is called, you just take the first element in this set. And this is an ordered set. So the lower bound will always give you the first one, right? So here I call lower bound with a parameter of zero. So this will give me the first integer that is in the set that is greater or equal to the parameter. And obviously all of them are going to be greater or equal. And the important part here is that it will give me the first one. Okay, so it will it will give me the first available seat. And then, yeah, I just remove that. So I remove it from the available set because it's getting reserved and I return its ID. Perfect. And now the unreserved function is really easy. What you do is you just insert back the seat number in the set. So when you reserve, you remove it from the available set. When you unreserve, you insert it back in the set. And that's it. So the time complexity here is Q times log N, where Q is the amount of queries, so the calls to reserve and unreserve, and N is just the parameter to the constructor. Because yeah, the set takes a log time for lower bound, erase, and insert. So that's it for me today. Thank you for watching, and bye.